Some say that the Earth Day movement was inspired by a single image. That photograph of the Earth rising over the moon itself. I know firsthand why that image holds so much power. As an astronaut, I've been around the world 2,600 times. I wish I could pull you to the window of a spaceship for just one orbit, just to let you see what the world truly looks like. It's amazing what that little shift of position, the incredible change of perspective can do for you. And orbiting the world, the more I thought about climate change, the more it seems the real question we should be asking ourselves is, who are we? Or maybe, what are we? Think about the language we use for a moment. It's always the threat of climate change or, or fight climate change. The way we talk about climate change is perhaps pointing us to the cause itself, the belief that we are separate, that there's something out there to fight. But instead, what if we drop the illusion of separateness, the illusion that the natural world is something different from us? Who are you? What are you? The question really needs to be that big. From the perspective of space, the true interdependent nature of all things is maybe a little easier to grasp. It's right there in your window. But if this recent pandemic teaches us anything, it's that we're unimaginably connected. All our fates are endlessly tied together. It's just one blue planet, one shared ecosystem. And when you start to really get that this is who you are, you're not on the Earth, you are Earth. Well then, preserving biodiversity and protecting the oceans and the forests and the grasslands and waking up from the illusion of separateness become radical acts of humanity. Happy Earth Day.